What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. This is going to be our first official episode of the prologue, and we'll see how far we can make it. Right now, we're uh, waiting to go down the sewers. Oh, wait. Hang on a second, Mario. Something just occurred to me. All right, so I'm actually going to skip this. You do know about action commands, don't you? I do know about action commands. Um, he's going to ask to do a tutorial. No, thanks. I'm good. Um, okay, down we go to enter it. All right, sweet. We don't have to do the tutorial. Nice. I can explain that to you guys just when we get into an actual battle, which will be pretty soon, I think, actually. All right, we're down in the Rogue Port Sewers. This is one of my favorite tracks in the game. I think one of the most underrated uh, sound pieces in uh, in this game. Oh, it's just so good, dude. It is so good. Hey, hey, man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? Well, a little forward, eh? What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, that's a fine-looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like that. Oh, it is, like, so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. What, you're too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody zings us like that. Nobody. Let's get him. All right, here we have... Our second battle after Lord Crump, this is with the Goomba Trio, a Goomba, a Spiny Goomba, and a Para Goomba. My, the, the whole Goomba family tree. You know, I want to worry about the middle of Spiny Goomba. Alright, well, he can explain it, but I also can explain it. And with that, I'd like to introduce the enemy bios in this game, as you can see now here. We've got the Goomba on the screen here. This is what I was talking about when I was saying we weren't going to tattle them, but I do have the tattles on screen for you guys. I also have the HP, defense, and attack of all the enemies, and that's what I'm going to be doing for every enemy. As you can see, it's going to cycle to this spiked Goomba right now. You can see this spiked Goomba deals two attack. That's different from the other ones. And then we have the para Goomba that is floating up there. And uh, it's a little bit harder to reach, but not harder to take out. So without further ado, now that we got those enemy bios out of the way, let's go ahead and take them out. All right, and then we got Goombella can take out this one. Um, so optimally, you probably want to take out the Spiked Goomba here first, but uh, I just wanted to show you the Spiked Goomba attack, and then we could Super Guard him. Uh, it's very important that uh, we hit that Super Guard on the Spiked Goomba, because he deals a lot of damage. You could also do a regular guard. Um, that's something I'm going to explain. Uh, I guess I can explain it now. So essentially, the Super Guard is when you press B as soon as you're getting hit. You have two frames to do it, so 1 30th of a second to press B, and you will deal one damage to your enemy, and you will take no damage whatsoever. You're going to see me doing that a lot. It's kind of a pro strat in this game, uh, but if you'd like, you have much more of a, a better window to hit just a regular guard, and that, since he deals two damage, would just do one damage to us. So just like that. And then there's also action commands for hammer and jump, and then there's also stylish by pressing A twice. These are things I'm going to go over more, but this is just our first battle. So don't worry about it. I'm sure it's pretty self-explanatory story stuff. I'm sure, you know, more than half of you guys know what I'm talking about anyway. Oh, wee! And they're gone. Ha! Later on, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where that came from, and they'll have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them. Okay, dude, I know. I understand. First strikes, I'll show that off too. Okay, we can't quite use this yet. I think... Yeah, I know where we're going. We're going over here. So, we're trying right now to make our way to the Thousand Year Door. Because apparently something happens if we put the map up to it. So, let's go into the pipe. This is pretty much the only place that we can go right now. Excuse me, I don't know if you heard me burp there. <laughs> All right. Let's go this way. Oh, we got a Goomba here. So basically what I'm going to be doing... Oh, I couldn't avoid him. Especially in the, that narrow hallway. It's really annoying. What I'm going to be doing with uh, a lot of the enemies is... Um, once I face them and show off the enemy bio for the first time, I'm probably just going to avoid them uh, in the overworld just because I'm pretty good at this game. So I don't even need that. So I don't need the levels. So I kind of just figure like avoiding them is going to be better for the LP because I don't want to like have to you know cut anything out or make you guys see... Uh, watch battles that you don't have to. This is Mushroom. Uh, it's an item in the game, and it heals 5 HP. This is a Fire Flower. It's an item in the game, and it deals 3 damage to everyone on the field. It's a very useful item. Just When there's just one Goomba like this, though, I don't mind taking him out. Like, it's so much faster than running away. Actually, it's not so much faster than running away. It's probably about the same speed, but it gives us uh, star points, and it avoids us from uh, taking, you know, coins away and stuff. So we can clear those hammer blocks away with our hammer. And now we're down here. We got to check for this star piece right here, though. 
Where is it? Where's the star piece? There it is, next to the pipe. Grab that star piece. Oh, what is that little fellow there? Maybe a little foreshadowing. And, oh, I got our first try. I knew exactly where that badge was. This is the Pretty Lucky Badge. This is our first badge of the game. Um, and uh, we, I guess we can get equip it right away. We don't really need to, but, well, oh, it's gear. Can equip it. Badges are additional features in this game that you can uh, equip with badge points. Uh, which we, we can get one leveling up uh, if we'd like. These are Spinias. Let's go attack one. And I'll give you a hot enemy bio on them. They've got 3 HP. And uh, they're pretty harmless guys, really. Um, I guess I'll just jump on this one. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Um, I could... I don't know. I'm not super good at the, the super guard here. So we'll see. I might miss it. I don't know. It's pretty... Comes in pretty fast now. We got it. We got it. Good. I think I'm like... Automatic with the super guard so far, which is pretty cool. All right, get some star points and move on. And then we got another spinia, but we don't really need to. We don't need to worry about him. Looks like there's a switch here, so that's gonna give us some stairs that we can go up. Let's see what we got up here. There is a flight panel and then a room. Whoa! Hey, you! Can you hear me? You can? Ha! <laughs> that must mean you're the Hero of Legend! Only the great Hero of Legend can hear my voice, yeah. Everyone else, nothing. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me. I was lock they're locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Or uh, Mario, a word with you? I'm not exactly confident we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Yeah, you say that out loud, frankly. He's right there. You think he can't hear you? Moldrat. I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely going to need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So... First, you should look for the key to this box, then use it to let me out. Definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. Alright, dude. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in this box is no picnic. I'm counting on you. Oh, great legendary hero. Uh, something seems fishy about this box, but uh, I gotta take his word that we need him to, uh, to get the Crystal Stars. We're gonna jump down and grab this black key there. And uh, we'll see what we can do about this box here. Apparently, we're the legendary hero. Frankly, what are you? You're just taking forever. Where is Frankly right now? Is he gone? Frankly, where are you? Did he get stuck? Where is Frankly? Did he stay in the room? I don't know. I just find that really fascinating. All right. What? He just disappeared. I think we we're going too fast for him. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You brought the key. Yes. Oh, man, I owe you big. A strange black key, but what could it be for? We'll find out. Yes! Thank. Ha! Thank nothing! Wee! Fools! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Did you fall for it? I burned you. What, do you think I'm going to help you? Instead, I'm going to spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Boogly woogly woo, you're cursed. And just like that, wee hee 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 hee. Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. You wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press the Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. <laughs> Trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Wee hee 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 hee. Oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. What the heck is a chortle? Oh my gosh. I don't even know. This curse is pretty rough, I guess. So I suppose I owe you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y, and then bam, you're a paper airplane. Oh, just like that. The worst part of this curse is that you must lift left and right to control yourself. I guess if you got good at it, you might fly a long way, but that's the only good thing. So be honest, isn't this curse just about the worst thing that's ever happened to you? I zoned out, what was it? Yeah, I get it, it's terrible. <laughs> if you press B, you might return to normal. Maybe. Okay. 
Farewell, you foolish fool. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, what are we ever going to do, guys? We got cursed. What the frick? So, uh, just wow. What was that guy's beef? I mean, I guess being locked up in a freaking chest like that for a long time does that to you. Can't really, you know, put too much on him. So, yeah, it seems like we got one of these glowing airplane panels right here. What a coincidence. Let's press Y and use it and then and then tilt and then press B to go out of it. And boom, just like that, we flew over. Wow, it's almost as if it was intended. Crazy. I'm glad we got cursed, I guess. All right. Enough of the pretending that I don't know what's going on. We are now in the Thousand Year Door Room. Ooh, Mario Goombella. Look, look at that. Ooh. It's the Thousand Year Door spoken of in the legends. I can't believe it's real. So legends are true. There it is, biggest life. Come, let's move closer. Wow, very cool stuff. This is, I've honestly always been blown away by this. The Thousand Year Door looks really awesome. Hey, what's the deal with that weird pedestal, huh? What do you think? What do you think it could be? Oh, we're gonna stand on it, and this crazy stuff's happening. Since we are the the one true legendary hero, like that cursed guy said. Professor, what's going on? Oh my gosh! It notices the map. It's 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 the map. I think that's how it goes, at least. I haven't watched Dora in, like, ever. Ooh, pretty colors. Okay, not anymore. Now it's a white screen. More pretty colors. So we got the map, and now the door is going to pop up a little castle. And then the crystal star there. Seems like it's trying to tell us something, guys. It's almost telling us, like, where to go. You know what I'm saying? The location of the Crystal Star has been recorded in your magical map. Nice. And we also moved a special, learned a special move, Sweet Treat, which I'll show off soon. Professor, the map! And what was that with all those crazy lights? Hmm. It appears that information related to the locations of the Crystal Star appeared. And that shining light. It looks as if the mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. All right. If you're having us, frankly, I'll I'll come chill at your place. It's not it's it's not very not very nice of a place. It's kind of just like a single room with a bunch of books, but sure. Hmm, aha, I see. The guy's just chilling outside. I love it. You understand it, Professor. My dear, of course I do. Firstly, that light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it, well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would, would you like to try it out? No, I really, I'm not really interested in this tutorial. This is very important. You'd better listen. Nah, I'm good, dude. You're absolutely sure. Well, all right then. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the... Wow, astounding! This map is a radar-like functions. It now shows the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'd get there instant instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Yeah, dude, if only pipe travel was real. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where did you get that map, anyway? From Princess Peach, really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach would... This wouldn't be her, would it? Yeah, that's her. So it is her! Our princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicious my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm. But I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off the Petal Meadows, you two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting crystal stars is a means to the end, to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. 
And he's gonna give us the map back. Very nice. Are you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that sp suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Are we, though? Are we off? I feel like... Oh, yeah. Okay, here it is. Wait just a moment. That's a nice hat you got there, Frank. Oh, it's not a hat. It's a badge. Power smash! Mario, what's scary out there? Take this with you. It's called a badge, and it is incredibly helpful. Yeah, I already explained badges. <laughs> I already explained badges to the audience, frankly. I'm sorry. Uh, I kind of beat you to it. But yeah, we can go equip it. Equip the power smash. All right, and it looks like with that, we're going to end the episode off here, though, guys. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to be making it to Petal Meadows. We're going to do everything before Petal Meadows and then make it to Petal Meadows. So this has been pretty much the prologue episode. And next episode, we'll get into Chapter 1, or at least getting to Chapter 1. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an awesome day, everyone, and I'll see you next time.